trust them. I've trusted them with my life. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting at soon. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, SUMA Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Good, yeah, we're two days in. Practices have been upbeat, pretty sharp, so, uh, you know, that, that will help with confidence. And, you know, we just got to keep focused, I think, in this, this moment. Sometimes you get anxious for the game and you don't focus on the details as much as you should. Uh, so we're just trying to keep them dialed in and focus on what we need to do, and so far, so good. Oh, well, it's been a good week of practice. We've had working hard, great coaching, training hard, getting prepared, keeping the momentum going. It's going to be a difficult game, and they're obviously a really good team, and there's no easy games at this stage of the tournament anyway. So we've just got to um, practice hard this week, hopefully improve from last game, and we'll be good. Yeah, I think any time you go on the road, there's things out of your control. You, you know, as a coach, you try to, you know, plan the best trip and organize it the best way possible. Things happen, so you, at the end of the day, you got to block out distractions. You got to, you know, keep composed. You got to not, you know, allow yourself to get rattled, and you stay focused on what you can do. At the end of the day, when you get in between the white lines, it's the same soccer game, whether home or away. It's all about your mentality. Well, we know Louisville has a great front three. We're going to have to be really sharp defensively. The crowd's going to play a part in it, but if we come out and play our game, I'm confident that we'll come home with a victory. we got to control the counterattacks, and we got to do better on restarts than we did against Wisconsin. If defensively we can transition well and do that and uh, be dialed in on restarts, I think we can really have success against their attack. And then offensively, it's we got to find a way to get our game going, find the tempo, the rhythm, and get attacking with numbers. If we can do those things like we have done well over the past two months, then I think we have a really good shot.